Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is up for this week? I hope you've been keeping up with the energetic um, craziness, I guess. Um, the uh, Mercury in retrograde happens, if you're watching on the 13th, happens today, okay? So that's happening into the sign of Scorpio. Um, and Mars is in retrograde. So there can be a lot of... Um, a lot of energy around that just want to make you aware of that and at the end of this week uh, we will have the new moon in Libra okay so things need to be balanced I'll talk a little bit more about this as we go along this week um, also gonna put up a meditation about meeting your spirit guides that is something that I've been asked for asked to do for a while and it's gonna go up this week okay okay so peruse the channel if you like Deep breath, everybody. Get yourself grounded to, to feel into this reading, please. All right, let's see where we go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Feel free to swap around the energies if that makes sense for you. These are general readings, so the timelines are liquid, baby. They're liquid, okay? Let's see where we go. All that glitters. No place like home. Regeneration. Wow. So I have a feeling that some of you had left a person behind. It could have been a long time ago. It could have been, um, seemed like a practical reason to leave them behind. Something practical. Okay. Like it made more sense. Okay, it made more sense to leave this person behind than it did to um, be with them. But now that you're in a stable place, for a lot of you, right, timelines, I said, are very fluid, very liquid. So um, if this is resonating with you in your present moment, you would know that because this is your story. The deep breath and the feeling into the reading is because I want you to understand and take the messages in in case this is for the future. Okay? So it's easy, to, it's easy. Well, it's, um, if something is your storyline, then yes, of course it resonates for you, but I want you to begin to understand what's happening then so you can prepare for it, all right? So what's happening in the future of this reading is about a regeneration of this um, soulmate connection now that you're stable and grounded and prepared and able to handle this person, able to handle this kind of relationship, okay? A lot of times twin flames or soulmates bounce off each other because they haven't done the healing work necessary enough to bring this person in and be with them in that powerful energy of soulmate or twin flame, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yeah, fool. Right on, baby, right on. I'm also seeing this energy on the bottom of this deck. Queen of Cups, Aries energy of the Emperor. And uh, for those of you who are feeling like you're at a crossroads, you're correct. All right, you're correct. This is a subconscious. This is one of those things of like, I feel like I'm standing at a moment in time in my life where... I can choose to go down one path or I can choose to go down another path. Okay. You may not always feel that in your life. You may be like, well, you know, every single day there's little decisions to make along the way. This feels like I'm either going to go in this direction in my life and go into higher vibration, high vibration, by the way, which I said yesterday, one of the readings was, um, being in alignment with your most authentic self. And I'm going to keep saying that to you guys because I want you to really feel that. A lot of people think that being in high vibration is just about being optimistic all the time and that is not true, especially if if you're faking it. <laughs> and so being in high vibration is being in alignment with your true authentic self. That feels good as opposed to happy for the sense of, oh, I want to be in high vibration, right? Being your true authentic self feels solid, okay? Feels real to you. 
that's high vibration. That is the energy, the high, high vibration. Then you can feel the heart chakra, you know, uh, sort of floating with that, right? Getting more energy to it, having it uh, spin a little faster, having it be open. And you can be kind and generous coming from a true authentic place of compassion of, that's Queen of Cups here, okay? So interesting, interesting, interesting. Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, Lovers. Gemini, there you are. Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Nine of Wands, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. You are definitely at a crossroads here, okay? And I feel like the past has been very... Um, not fluid, not the, the word isn't fluid. The past is very, it's, it's, um, you've been very flip or very, uh, unconscious about how you're being in your life, or that is, that is definitely the past now. Okay. It's time to be very conscious in your life and make choices. These are two decision cards right next to each other. Okay. Making good decisions, uh, no longer being in the energy of, um, well, it's in front of me, and so I'm going to choose it, right? This is about being very deliberate, a deliberate creator of your experience. Lovers, right there, right there, okay? So Four of Cups and Seven of Pentacles, I feel like there's been a lot of time, I'm going to say wasted, feeling a little stubborn. You could be dealing with a person who's very stubborn, but I'm also feeling like, What's happening here is you're making a deliberate choice to move toward something better for yourself, to move toward relationship that is, that feels like your authentic self, okay? Um, in the past, this baggage, you could have chosen people. I have a friend who says she has a bad picker, okay? You could have chose people, and that just means she's an unconscious picker, choosing unconsciously, choosing partners, um, and not knowing why, not knowing why this person's attractive to me. Well, sometimes they're attractive to you because it's familiar, even though that's a toxic pattern, right? So this is a very unconsciously toxic pattern in your past. And it's caused you to get to the place of now being super stubborn about, well, I'm just not going to choose anything because apparently I choose incorrectly. <laughs> um, you're just choosing unconsciously. So I feel like this next situation where you are at this crossroads, ready to take a leap of faith, ready to take action based on your heart chakra, based consciously. You know, emperor does things very consciously. The fool does not. Okay, so this is the crossroads. It's the opposite energy here of, am I going to choose unconsciously or I'm going to choose consciously, right? The, the, the situation is right in front of me or it's coming in front, go, going to be in front of you. Um, if you're dealing with somebody, I could, it could be an earth sign or a water sign here. I'm also seeing Aries. Okay. And this is also about being impassioned, right? The emperor's passionate, um, but the emperor takes um, takes wise steps, right? Conscious steps, um, trust but verify. Um, I do things very deliberately. I'm not like asking everybody for their opinion. I'm coming to a conclusion myself about what's the best thing for me. Okay, and King of Cups and King of Pentacles here. Um, this can either be a choice between an earth and a water sign. And you're now leaving behind the baggage of choosing unconsciously, right? You're no longer going to do that. You're very, very conscious about what's going on. So you might have had a, for some of you, if this has been in your past, because like I said, timelines can be fluid. So you're, um, you could either have chosen something that's sparkly in the past Okay, and um, a choice purely based on sex or based on fleeting 
and surface kind of appearances. I feel like now you're seeing your own worth and value and you're choosing based on heart chakra, based on true authentic love. Okay, based on that. No longer going to be in the space of, well, I've chosen somebody, you know, for their external. If you could see, we posted this the other day as a meme, like if you could see people's souls instead of their, you know, outward appearance, boy, how different things would be. Right. And so I feel like now you're choosing someone's soul. And that is all it's cracked up to be, right? That is a very positive choice. Now, you could have in the past let this person go and it's coming back around to you, or this could be a past life soulmate coming back around to you. Either way, you're making conscious decisions. And that's very new. So, this is a good thing for you. This is a very positive way forward. Okay. And six of swords moving forward. I feel like this person, um, is in high vibration. They are aligned with their highest, the highest version of themselves. Okay. They are in alignment with that. Um, I do feel like you might know this person in this life. Okay, this is, for some of you, this could be a past life person. Well, if they're a strong soulmate, they definitely were in a past life. But if you, but I feel like you might know this person in this life. It could have been, um, you could have met them seven, seven or 11 years ago. And let them go. In order for you to get grounded and get to the place where you're making, where you're choosing consciously. This other, this could flip this around. This other person could be choosing consciously now. Okay. And in the past, they could have left you behind because of their stubborn nature, because of their lack of, um, awareness in how they choose partners, lack of awareness in how they do anything. Super unconscious person. Okay. And now they're becoming in higher consciousness. Okay. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. I will look at earth signs, water signs. I do see Sag and Aries here too. So that's a lot, but we'll look at those. I also have some cool new Oracle decks I'm going to use in the extended. The Empathic Oracle is one that I got just the other day. It's very, very cool. So I'll use that one in this. I've got a couple more uh, Sacred Self Care. That's kind of neat. And the Awakened Soul. Look at the beautiful artwork on this. The Awakened Soul. So, going to be doing some new stuff in the Extendeds. Okay. So, link is below for you if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you over there. <laughs>